Hello guys, today I want to share with you how I transfer money internationally for cheap. Welcome back to the channel, Kind Juju Base here. If you're new here, I'm a Malaysian who came to the US for college and stuck around after. If you're like me, i.e. someone living abroad, one of the things you think about is how do I send money home? Wise. That's what I use. What is it? An online money transfer service. Why I use it? Cause it's cheaper than the banks. How cheap? How to do a transfer with WISE? All these and more coming right up. This is what it is, okay? Free water, my friend. Hello, Uncle Auntie. Ni hao. Ruko ni yo hai zai wai ko tu shu de hua, bu fang kai ji shi kan xia wo de yin gen. Wo yi jie shao gei ni yi ge hen pian yi de fang fa lai zhuan fa qian gei ni de hai zi. Oh, xie xie a, ji shi kan. First, let me show you what not to do. If you're like me in the past, the first place that you can think of that does international money transfers is your local bank. Hey, but hang on a minute. Did you know that the cost of doing so with a traditional bank can be quite high? There are a lot of hidden fees. Let me hop onto Google and show you something. Let's go. I'll look up wire transfer fees of banks on NerdWallet. Let's pick a couple examples from this table. We have Sitting Bank here, who charges $35 for an international transfer. US Bank here, $50. But hang on, that's not all. These banks usually add a markup to your exchange rate too. For example, let's look at the exchange rate between a US dollar and Malaysian ringgit. Right now, the exchange rate is 1 USD to 4 ringgit and 19 cents. This is the real exchange rate. What I meant by markup is that these banks will offer you something less than the real exchange rate. The difference in them, they are taking it as a profit for themselves. Or you can think of it as fees that you have to pay for them to do this international transfer. Not me. Okay. Don't worry, because I'll show you what service I use instead of the banks. Enter WISE, or formerly known as TransferWISE. They are an online money transfer service that is based in the UK. What I like about their service is a couple things. One, they offer the real exchange rates, i.e. no markups. And two, their fees are very low, less than 1% of my transfer amount. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll walk you through the process of using the website to do a transfer. I'll show you what exchange rate they are offering me and I'll show you the fees that they are charging me. Why they are able to charge such low fees is because of how they work, which is roughly something like this. WISE has many banks all over the world. So technically, while it looks like I am transferring money from myself to my parents, in reality, it is like this. I pay to a WISE bank account in USD, while WISE then pays to my parents the amount of Malaysian Ringgit detected by the real exchange rate, thereby bypassing all the middlemen and banks in between. Okay, I'll do a quick demo on using WISE to do an international money transfer. This is the WISE homepage. When you log in, this is the first page you will see. Go ahead and hit on the send money button on the top left corner. All right, so in this page, let's send 1000 USD to Malaysia. Here is where you enter how much you would like to send in USD. Here you can see how much your recipient will receive in Malaysian Ringgit. Here is the exchange rate they are offering, 4.18, which is the actual real exchange rate we saw earlier, right? Here are the fees. You got $1.60 for bank ACH fees. Pro tip, there are a couple options you can choose to fund this transfer. What I find is that bank ACH method is the cheapest. And $5.63 is what WISE is charging us. That brings our total fees up to $7.23, which is only 0.7% of the amount that I'm transferring. Go ahead and hit continue. Next, in this page, for most of you, you're probably just a person and not a business. So go ahead and click on your personal profile. Next, we move on to the recipient page. Under new recipient, click on someone else here is where you will fill out the bank account information of your recipient and then hit continue next payment purpose will pop up for example you could say i'm sending money home to family then hit continue all right next here we can review the information that we put in make sure everything looks right wow take a look at this it's saying that the money is gonna arrive in seconds no need cool once everything looks good click on i accept the terms and use and sign your life away to wise no i'm kidding okay. no, no. and then confirm and continue all right and last but not least the last step pay all right go over the options to pay again like i said the bank ACH is usually the cheapest click on continue to payment you can connect your bank account to fund this transfer and then when you're done click on the pay button and voila there you go you just send money internationally all for the cost of what seven dollars 
Wasn't that easy and cheap? If you like to use WISE as well for your international money transfers and like the tutorial I just gave and want to say thanks for me, you can help me out by clicking the affiliate link in my description box below. That link will bring you to WISE. It doesn't cost you anything and I appreciate it very much if you do click the link. If not, no pressure, it doesn't matter too. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful to you and now you know how to send money internationally for cheap. Thanks for watching. Help me like, subscribe and share this video with friends so that they can benefit from this knowledge too. Till next time. Bye bye! Hey, if you're in your early career, you may find these personal finance videos helpful, okay? Click on these to watch more.